All right. This is day 11. And in my meditation this morning, I was realizing that clarity and needing to know and answers and direction, it's like they're all constructs of the mind to make the ego feel or be in control and to have some sense of power and authority, but really they're just all constructs of the mind. And I think that also we're just, we're so obsessed with needing to know. We're so obsessed with having a, you know, your, your five year plan and your goals and your vision boards. And we just get so obsessed with this whole idea of needing to know and having the answers and knowing where you're going and being able to answer everybody's questions about what you're doing with your life. And it's just so, as I've said, stressful, but it's also like boring. And it's also this, you know, automated way of living that I haven't been inspired by for a really long time. And so maybe I'm just dealing with these final pieces that have to just deconstruct and fall away. Because I have lived from my heart space and I know that the heart is the brain. I know that the heart is where the one resides. I know that that's where the big mind lives. And when I went to this weekend, I said, you know, I want to live from my heart all the time. And so I'm really realizing that, yes, I have lived from my heart a lot of the times. But in order to live from it all the time, I could see how these constructs of my mind have to just be loved and released. And that's what's just been happening, this deconstruction of this whole way of being and living, the final remnants of it, you know, because I've been pushing against it or, you know, sometimes not pushing against it and just being in my heart space and doing all these things I've been doing for the last three years and, you know, traveling and trying to launch myself out in the world with my gifts and talents reorganized in a way that just allows for something new to emerge. And this morning I'm just realizing that all of that really is just a distraction. It's just a construct of the mind. It's just the way that it's set up to be, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. And I think for me right now, this is just about coming home to that heart space and allowing it to inform me and inspire me and just to be okay with it, as crazy as it's been, and to simply just continue to trust it and to remind myself, you want to live from your heart. So in order to live for your heart, what does that mean? What has to fall away? Where can't you live anymore if you want to live from your heart? How does that change things? How does that change me? What's, what's trying to emerge from that place that keeps calling me back to it. So it's Thursday today. We are in just amazing breakup weather here in Anchorage. My, my friend has a metal roof and the snow has been sliding, like hanging off of it, like three to four feet of it, just hanging off the edge of this metal roof. And then I'll hear randomly these big booms and of course that's the snow crashing to the ground and so there's just such symbolism that mother nature is offering me i'm having such an experience of a mirror um, to what's happening inside these big chunks just melting away or these big pieces dislodging and sliding off and and i just want to really be healthy you know it's like i want Everything is a vibration, and I can just really feel today. My dear friend had a birthday right after mine, and we met up yesterday with some other friends, and, you know, there was cigarette smoke, and I just I could feel it inside me today, and, you know, I had a couple glasses of wine, and I could just feel today, like, vibrationally, I'm, I'm really, once again, seeking to establish something that's different for me. Um... And so all I can keep doing is try again. You know, I set myself up to do the best I can. Sometimes I don't always do it 
and it's just important to love that and just try again with not any blame or shame or criticism or beat myself up or anything like that it's just it's just time to really love ourselves be gentle with ourselves and stop needing to improve something that's already perfect this is day 11